The MUFON World UFO Center receives a strange report from an extraterrestrial entity, according to claims. A strange report presented to MUFON, the world's largest UFO research organization, and the report, they said, came from a person who claims to be an alien to the extraterrestrial entity that would have stranded, that was uh, stranded on Earth. The MUFON UFO Network, the UFO research organization, and Alien Contact, commonly guarded as the world's largest organization that investigates reports of aliens and UFO sightings, may have recorded the first extraterrestrial contact to receive a strange relationship presented by someone who claims to be an extraterrestrial entity. And the report was sent February 8, 2016. The case ID is number 74362. The relationship of this apparently afflicted alien and its identified as Mogay seems to ask for help and according to MUFON it's the first time that the organization has received a relationship of an entity that claims a, to represent a form of intelligent extraterrestrial life. Mogay claims to have arrived on Earth because of an apocalyptic event on his planet and he needs urgent help, having arrived September 2015 from a distant sector of the galaxy. Morgay at the moment says he's waiting for an answer from MUFON. Morgay resides in a human body, saying that he occupied the body of a human with his content, consent, and Morgay has revealed that it's the natural state, it exists as an electro electromagnetic wave or energy field, and is also able to take control and reside within the bodies of humans and other extraterrestrial species. This strange being seems to have difficulty learning English in his new home body, which he supposedly borrowed. A.I. Mufon wrote, I am an alien adopted by humanity. You can call me Mogay. Explained that, uh, that he had a group of his species were he and a group of his species were refugees from a distant world called Matif. They escaped to Earth after a catastrophic collision between their homeland Matif and a celestial body that hit, it, that hit his planet. Mogay writes in characteristic English, We remain like an electromagnetic wave, and normally we use replacement bodies to work with. A celestial body made of the majority of our team unable to work, we tried to escape from Atif, he said, but we failed and the celestial body, perhaps a comet or asteroid, hit our planet. Despite the adverse effects of the celestial body, we had time to take refuge using a transfer system. The disaster in Matif brought us to Earth, he claimed, claims a report. Mogay well, also reported that the group of Matif's alien refugees arrived on Earth in September 2015 but nobody was aware of their presence because they are like pure electromagnetic waves, and though they do not look like green little green men as earthlings, earthmen think, but Mogay apparently found a human being who was willing to adopt him. Quote, We are extraterrestrial beings who do not have enough protection on Earth, and we need your help. I live in a human body now, but this is also the reason why your people have adopted me. I learned their language in this body so I can talk to you, writes Mogay. But despite having found a human body and the opportunity to learn about human culture and language, I have not been able to convince governments that I really am an alien from a distant galaxy that needs help. In the end, Mogay decided that the best way to get in touch with the government was through the largest organization in the world of MUFO, UFO researchers, namely MUFON. MUFON claims on its website that it often receives reports. Therefore, MUFON officially says it's very likely that this SOS of Mogay is just another false alarm. MUFON on its reports website, UFO has category, categorized this report as a hoax or false. However, on February 15, 2016, the same supposed extraterrestrial entity that calls itself Mogay sent another report with ID case 
74503, this time claims to be interested in getting in touch with UNOSA, the Office of United Nations for Spatial Affairs. Mogay also tells Mufon that if he help, they help him, he will get a good reward and that if they wish, they can prove their identity, which is why a presumed letter, an email provided by to United Nations is attached to the report uh, on MUFON. The sender of the previous post, it has not yet been confirmed that it was really uh, uh, this person, is Kareth McFadden, Associate Librarian of the Dag Hamar Chog Library of the United Nations. Presumably she would have replied to Mogay's emails, but nothing has been confirmed yet. Mogay also claims to have a Twitter account where he can receive private messages from MUFON officials if they wish, although this story has all the clues of being a farce. The case to date is still under investigation. Above all, the authenticity of the email attached to the report should be validated, so MUFON experts consider authentic emails. Is all this true or is it false or is it just a joke on MUFON? This is on Solask. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.